I'm about to do something that we all wind up having to do eventually if we sell anything that's vintage that's in a box. Right around fourth quarter, I always have a problem at one point with tape residue on vintage boxes, especially with Christmas decorations because people like to store things in the original boxes, but they want them to be secure, so they put tape on them. And a lot of times, it's packaging tape or the worst, duct tape. I'm about to clean some up, and I'm gonna show you how to do it to remove all the residue and have the box look really good. So come on. The things that you're gonna need is a heat gun. I'll list in the description where I got this one. This is very safe, it will get hot, but it doesn't get hot enough that it's gonna damage stuff. You can also use a hair dryer. Something to scrape with. I'll put a link in this. This is the one of the best label getter offer tools that I have ever seen. You're gonna need some gooby gone. Now this is gonna be at the end of the process. You don't wanna start with this because you don't want to mess up the cardboard. And then some scrap tissue paper, uh, paper towel or a towel. Here we have a Santa's ski slope. I paid $10 for this at an estate sale and they sell for as much as $125. I wanna make sure that I get the most I can got this unsightly duct tape that the previous owner used to hold the box together. I've already taken it off from right here. You do not want to pull on this. It's going to take the paint off. You don't want to use the gooby gone on it too soon or too much because it will mess. It'll take the, it'll take the top surface off of the box. It will absorb it, make it wrinkle. It could just mess it up but you also don't wanna leave the residue. So the first thing you do is just peel up a little corner, just like that, start off there. You'll be surprised how quickly this comes up. Just gonna heat up the tape, moving it back and forth. I don't wanna scorch the box, I don't wanna scorch the tape. Try not to burn your fingers because you're gonna be using your fingers. Take your heat gun, and just kinda of heat it up. And look how quickly and easily this comes up. Eventually you'll be able to pick it up and lift the whole thing up. And then you have this nasty tape that you want to throw away. Now the problem is you have this residue. You don't want to sell this to the customer with this nasty box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this up and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to do long strokes. If you go back and forth, you're just going to be mushing the stuff around and just sticking it to other areas. So it's real important. Heat it up and just do a long stroke. See how that's coming off? You're gonna have to wipe off your tool. No, normally I just have this paper sitting there, but I've gotta do things a little bit different for camera. Now you wanna take your time with this. Don't get in a hurry. Once you have most of the residue off, then you're gonna take your Gooby Gone and you wanna spray it on the paper towel, never on the box, and don't put too much, just a couple of squirts. Now you just wanna lightly, just lightly go over it in circles and wipe it off as you go. As you see, 
you can actually hear it squeaking on the box. There you go. And as you can see, the residue is completely gone. So that wasn't so hard, was it? Now make sure that you don't use a heat gun. You can use a hair dryer. If you follow the steps that I did, you should have perfect results every single time. Well, if you like this video, please hit the like, share, and subscribe if you're not. Also hit the ringy dingy thing so you're notified next time I make a video. And as always, no matter what tune that life plays you, even if it's a nasty duct tape tune, always find your groove. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time. <laughs>